If you've never used a tire lever before and aren't sure how to start, don't stress. I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to use a tire lever to remove any type of tire. So whether it's on a road bike, gravel bike, or mountain bike. Now the techniques you'll learn will give you a really solid foundation to remove most tires, but there are a lot of scenarios where you'll need to change things up a bit. So let's dive in. So the first thing you'll need is a set of tire levers. This is a set of Pedro's levers and this is a set of park levers. Now, there's links below in the description if you need to get a set. I highly recommend you have a set to practice with while watching the video. The first thing we wanna do is have a bicycle wheel that has the air taken out. So I'll check the valve. This thing is empty. This is a friend's wheel. I have never removed this tire. Uh, let's just see how this goes. I'm gonna pinch the tire it's gonna create space for me to insert the, the tire lever, okay? Then I'm gonna insert the tire lever under just the tire, being careful not to grab the inner tube. So I'm trying to grab just this tire. Now, when I'm pulling on the tire, there's no tension. This tells me that this tire is old, uh, a little more loose, and it's gonna be easy to remove from, from the rim. So, tire lever's in, and once it's in this position, it's just kind of freely hanging, there's no tension on it. So I can pull, on the tire lever towards me. And this will basically bring the tire over the rim and off the wheel. So right now, I'm basically removing one side of the tire off the rim, which is now loose. So, got one side loose. I can now reach in, pull the tube out if I need to, and go from there. One thing I wanted to point out is when I insert this and I'm running it along the tire like this, I'm keeping it vertical and just this portion of the tire lever is inserted up under the tire. So I'm not sticking up like this where, where it's all the way in like that. Once I peel the tire over the rim, just this little spoon portion of the tire lever is basically in contact with the tire as I am pulling, and that is what's bringing it over the edge of the rim. All right, so what are some common mistakes people make when doing this? One is they don't empty the tire completely. So if there's air in the inner tube or air in the tire, it's gonna be very difficult to squeeze this in and to get a bite onto the tire with your lever like that, okay? That's one mistake. Now, the second mistake is people will insert the tire lever under the tire and they will grab the inner tube and pinch the inner tube between the tire and the tire lever. And if you look at this close up right here, you can see exactly how that happens. And when it does happen, it's very difficult to pull because this is getting caught on the inner tube inside of the tire. So if it feels unusually difficult or hard to pull or feels like you're pulling something inside, it could be the inner tube and I would release the tire lever, put it back in and make sure, try and make sure you're just grabbing the tire and not both. All right, so that was a generic mountain bike tire. Now we're going to remove the tire on this tubeless gravel wheel. So this has had sealant in it. It's been sitting in my storage unit for the last six months hasn't been ridden in a while. Uh, these will probably get sold. But that being said, what can happen sometimes is when you're trying to create space, the tire is actually glued. The sealant forms a seal and the side of the tire is now glued to the inside of the rim and it's super difficult to pinch this tire. So one of the tricks people do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna set it over a trash can and then that way we can get our weight and push down on the tire and remove this from, from the rim. Just trying to do it with my thumbs right now. I'm getting a little space, but this will take forever. So this is one of the possible issues you can run into when trying to use a tire lever. Because right now, I cannot get this up under the tire to bring this over the rim so that I can remove it, okay? So let's get this on a trash can and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I've got the wheel on a trash can. Hopefully you cannot see my trash. And what we're gonna do is 
we're going to push on the tire down to create some space to actually release the tire from the rim. So I'm just gonna go like this, put my weight on it, and see if I can't get that to come off. So this thing's pretty on there. <laughs> Yeah, this is really on there good. All right, so we're going to go to a more aggressive method of doing this, and that's where the tire levers come in handy. So, since that wasn't working, I'm going to take my tire lever, and I'm going to put, use it to push down onto the tire. Okay, and hopefully that will get it to move. Man, this is really on there. I'm gonna try this side. Oh, got it. All right, so two hands in one spot. We got the tire to move. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep push. Ah, there we go. You guys heard that? All right, so now it's coming off really easy. So now I can use my hands to get this. All right, voila. Got it. So now if you guys can see, it just created space. So I can get my tire lever underneath there and you can see all the dried sealant and how that was stuck to the rim tape right there. So now we can actually get a tire lever under here. So pull back to create space, tire lever under, and now we've got something to work with. Oh, okay. So this may be a chance uh, to use two levers at once. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my tire lever like this, all right? And then I can hook it onto a spoke. So I'm gonna slide it over to a spoke and then there. So that is now hooked on like that, all right? So that allows me to grab second tire lever. And again, we're going to Create some space, get the lever under, under the tire. Okay, this one's being a little tight. So one of the tricks I like to do is just, this holds this in place, but it also puts tension on the tire. So what I'm gonna do is I've got one underneath and then I'm gonna put a second one under like that, right? Then I'm gonna lock this one in place and now I can pull on this one and voila, I've got the tire releasing all the way around, okay? So I just got the whole side of the tire off, off the rim, okay? Now, this one that I had locked on is now loose. Um, so that's why you want two of these, and that's how two, two tire levers work when you have a tire that's a little bit tighter than usual. Okay, so now we're on to a road tire. So, this is off my road bike. This is a tubeless setup, again. So, I'm gonna go ahead and empty the air out, like so. Again, we wanna make sure the tire is flat. This might take a second. <laughs> We have a empty tire. So again, this is, I don't know if we can see this. This is, oh, me just squeezing and release the, the tire from the rim. So unlike the gravel tire we just did, this is gonna be pretty simple. So I'm just gonna, I'll show you from this side. I'm just gonna pinch and pull the tire away from the rim all the way around the wheel, okay? So I know it's got a loose section all right, so again, tire lever. Just going to use the top portion to grab a hold of the tire. So again, I'm pulling this back to create space. Going to put the tire lever inside and under just one half of the tire, okay? So this one, so you can see when I, when I pull on this, this is creating tension on the tire. So I don't know if you can see the tire moving and actually I'll show you from this side. So when I, when I pull on it, 
it's creating tension on the tire, which actually makes it more difficult to get a second lever in. So that's why on the gravel tire, I left it loose like this, put a second one in, and then lock this one in place. So if I were to lock this one in right now, it'd be very difficult. This is so tight on here, it'd be very difficult to get a second lever in. Now, from experience, I'm pretty sure I don't need a second one. So I can just hold this vertical, I'm gonna grab it firmly with my hand, and I'm gonna pull towards me and see if I just can't get the tire to come over the rim like it just did. So kind of in between the two, the two tires that we, we've already done. So those were three different types of, of tires and wheels and how to use a tire lever on each one. We had a pretty generic mountain bike tire that was easy to remove with just one tire lever. I had the gravel bike, which we had to throw on the trash can and put some weight on it to get that to separate from the rim. And then we just did a road tire tuba setup with sealant in it. And you saw how I used my fingers to pull the tire away from the rim, inserted the tire lever, and then spun it around and released the whole tire. If you have any questions or comments about what you just saw, please leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get to them within 24 hours. Now, if you guys got value out of that, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Anyways, I just wanna say thank you for being a part of the Mark List and I'll see you on the next one.